Baggio plays basketball for Magazine High School. It's near Boonville. First, when you see him, you notice his height. He's six foot five. And then you notice the device on his arm. I spoke with him and his family about how that tiny device has changed their lives. They said probably within a day he would have been in a, in a coma because his sugar was so high. That was 2013. Cameron Raggio was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes. He spent two days in the ICU. At first, it changed everything tremendously. Having to regularly prick Cameron's fingers and give him insulin shots. We went back almost to, um, you know, having a little kid that you had to, when you went somewhere, you weren't pa packing a diaper bag, but you were packing a medical kit. A big adjustment, but one that Cameron took on with positivity. When we were leaving the children's hospital, said this is really bad, but at least I can still play sports. You know, and that's, that's the important thing. Getting back in the games of football and basketball, that was the key for the recently diagnosed 11-year-old. Shortly after I was diagnosed, they they had a list at the hospital of like all these pro athletes that have type 1. Guys like former NFL quarterback Jay Cutler and baseball legend Ty Cobb, but they didn't have the technology Cameron does. The insulin pump made sports a lot easier because it made made it to where we could keep my sugar a lot lower because I had continuous insulin instead of having to give myself a shot anytime I needed it. See, Cameron wears an Omnipod. You can spot it on his shooting arm. It's a disposable pump that holds about 200 units of insulin and is controlled by a remote. If he needed insulin, we would uh, give it to him with this one. If it gets knocked off, then it gets knocked off. The sport is most important while I'm on the field or court. This year, the Raggios decided to add a continuous glucose monitor to his treatment as well. That's another device attached to him which transmits his sugar levels to another remote dad carries when Cameron is on the court. Shows at about 3 o'clock it went up pretty high, a little bit after lunch I guess. If he sees it's going low, then he will get my attention and he'll tell me to drink a Powerade and we keep a Powerade on the bench. The same way the technology has progressed, so too has Cameron's mindset. The first year, I struggled with it quite a bit, maybe the second year, but in the past three years or so, I haven't had a problem with it. Just keep my head up. And while his time in a basketball uniform may not last forever, diabetes will. If it had to happen, it happened to him for a reason and that he had a great support system and, and he just, he doesn't get down about it. Cameron has a couple more years of high school. He also plays center and defensive end for the magazine football team, plus competes in track and field.